everyone, it's Jayfelzine. I have not been filming lately on YouTube because I just haven't been inspired, but I saw this video from Kelsey Apijiki, I think is how you pronounce her last name. She does all the single girl plays from BuzzFeed. She also has her own channel, which is a I actually really enjoy her channel, so I'm gonna leave a link to it down below along with her original video. But today's video is kind of a challenge. Her, it was more of a version that she did of what's her quick version of makeup versus her long version of makeup. But it turned into a challenge of six minutes versus an hour. What your face would look like if you do that. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start off with the six minute side. And then we'll do the full side on the other side. And if you see glitter all over my face, that was from yesterday's makeup look. Which I haven't posted anywhere. Well, I kind of did. It's on my review of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jeffree Star X Morphe palette um, that's over on my blog. I'm just getting the timer going so we're going to give myself six minutes on the clock I don't think you guys can even see that but when this is done I have to be done with my makeup um, so yeah let's do my quick version of makeup um, I'm going to just insert if I don't mention a step, I apologize, because it's supposed to be my quick minute one, and I'm going to take my full six minutes that I have. So, let's get into it. Alright, ready? Set. Start. Alright. I always start off with eyeshadow primer. I'll go over what the products are in the description, so that way we don't have to waste as much time here. Alright. So I'm going to use on both sides the ColourPop Whatever palette. I'm going to start off with Copycat. Just throughout the crease. I know how long this takes me because I normally do this every day. So I know I can spend more time on my eye because that's how I normally do it. Alright, then I'm going to go in with Pass It On. And I look not gonna be the same on each side. I feel like because if I have more time, this look changes. So, all right, I'm gonna do the same general shape. Then Mr. Bright side, or sorry, Ms. Bright side. Mood for a halo look. All right, then on my finger, I'm gonna do not okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more Ms. Bright side. And just really make that obvious what I was trying to go for. Alright. Put that away for a second. Alright, next we're going to do eyeliner. There's no mirror on my palette, so I'm just going to look over there at my mirror. Mascara on the top. Alright, next. Still have three and a half minutes, so I might go back and do some more. We have concealer. Just in a few spots. Or I have dots. And then just to smooth out the under eye. Whoa! Oh, I was like, what happened there? My mascara happened! Great! I'm just gonna work with it. Alright. Black eyeliner. Because I'm just working with what accidentally happened there. This however I'm just gonna turn it like the other way. <laughs> okay, I have that special. We can just blend that out. Okay. It's 
kind of concealed and hidden. Great. All right. Give me a small kind of dummy brush. And we're going to go back in with Mr. Ms. Brightside. And we're just making that little mistake here. Disappear. And then I'm going to grab a fluffier brush and pass it on to make it match more with the top. That's done. Uh, last up on the eye is, let me see, we have a minute, it's 30. We're gonna take Tardy. I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner here. A super shock. That is a super shock. I just got this palette. <laughs> Add a little bit in the center here to kind of give it more of that halo effect. And then this is not even so I'm just gonna leave to go real quick. Fix that and I'm gonna give myself a wig. Just a baby one. Like that. Then we're going to use some more mascara. Alright, last up in the look is lips. So let me grab something. But not prepare for this part. Uh, and this one. Over. This one. I think this one. Alright, we're going to do ultra blooded lip in sleepy eyes. All right, that was six minute version. My brows are kind of still done from the day before, so honestly I wouldn't have touched them up anyway. So that is what a six minute makeup routine for me it looks like. All right, now we're gonna go spend an hour on this side doing the full look. So if I had more time, what this would have turned into. So I'll be getting another time going and we will get going. All right, one hour on the clock. All right, we're gonna start off with some moisturizer. Now that I have time to actually do this, step to kind of prep the skin well that's going we're gonna get started on the eyes that's how I normally did Urban Decay Primer Potion now I can kind of talk a little bit more versus rushing I always use this on my eyes I always do my eyes first in case of fallout or issues so I can use concealer to can hide any of those problems. Alright, still using the same palette and we're going to go for the same look that went over here, but if I had just spent more time on it. So, copycat throughout the crease. Honestly, I don't mind this eye. I actually kind of like it. But I'm going to spend a little bit more time just kind of making that halo actually look like a halo versus the rough idea of a halo. And then we're going to go in with Pass It On. So I know the face part does not take me that long, which is why I'm giving myself way more time to do the eyes. There's the pass it on. Then we're gonna go in with bad guy. And start bringing in the halo effect. 
kind of more down. Got a little bit more passing on though. I think we lost it just a smidgen. I'm gonna go back in my fluffy brush with some more Cabot Cat and just blend out that edge. And then I'm going to take some Tardy, get that up in the brow bone area. Alright, and then smaller dummy brush. I'm going to start with that Ms. Bright side. And you just get the outer corner and the inner corner. Making sure it's very defined. Alright. This step I skip on fast days. But I'm going to take just a bit of my concealer. A bit more. Yeah, so it is the full effect. And then a concealer brush to kind of carve out where I want the halo to kind of go. This I don't do on not be. Oh, that's why earlier. I have two bee blenders on my desk, and one of them is wet. One of them is not. I was using the not wet one. Great. Then I'm still going to use my finger to apply the shade Not Okay. In where I just gave that definition. And then I go back in with the dome brush that I used bad with bad guy to just blend that a little bit. So then that and the metallic look like they go together. And then I'm going to take the smallish brush with some more with Tardy and just add that to the center. So just like that. So there we go. Alright, next I'm going to start actually working on my face. So I think today for foundation I'm going to use the Beauty Blender foundation, Real Technique sponge. I actually don't ever put it on the package itself, I just put it straight to my hand. I like that. Now I have a wet Beauty Blender, I just realized I have way too much for half of my face. So this is going to be overkill. Sponge eat up more than you normally do. Please and thank you. I'm going to throw what we got in later so I don't care if I get it in my hair. Trying to make what I normally use on my entire face look fine on just half of my face. Which is not too bad, so yay. How much time do I have left? 53 minutes. Yeah. We got time. Uh, next concealer. I only ever do my under eyes. I don't do the rest when I'm wearing foundation. I don't see the point in it. I, if I did use a brightening one, then yeah, I guess I don't really put it elsewhere, but I don't know. I've just been loving this Oma one because it just matches my skin so well that it just kind of cancels out a most of my dark circle under here. Alright, since we don't have a boo-boo this time because I didn't do the mascara and whatnot, I'm going to use the color I was actually going to use, which was going to be Call Me for my waterline here. It kind of goes a lot better. with the look I'm doing. Doesn't that be perfect? Then I'm going to grab 
eyeliner for the top. Ready to do that now. I made those two very different shapes. Well, the eyes don't match anyway, so... That's fine. One goes out, baby. One is more dramatic. <coughs> Yay. Alright. Bronza! I'm gonna use Private Party from ColourPop. Which, you can tell, I use a lot and I go like this, so it makes the entire thing. Not... It's normal color. I feel like this power of makeup, just how much spending extra time on even just makeup makes my face look completely different. Alright, uh, next. Oh, I don't remember which one is which. It's one of these ones. I just can't remember which one is the shape that I want. Alright, so it's an orangish brownish blush. More light pink. More light peach. More dark peach. I think I'm going to do a mixture of Risky Business and Perk Up, which is these two right here. I'm going to start off with Risky Business. And I'm just going to take a smidget of Perk Up to kind of blend it. Yeah. Alright, next highlight. So, I'm going to do my normal routine, which is using glazed. This is my favorite. Yeah, so I'll make sure I only get on half my nose without making my nose look crooked. Half of my Cupid's bow. And then, through out here. So, this is glazed, which is gorgeous but I don't ever stop there <laughs> I then go in with Black Moon Cosmetics I somehow put it all the way back in the back of my highlight collection the shade um, Centipede this kind of just sets the highlight and make it even more pop it's kind of a bit much but I kind of like it so There we go, we got the highlight going, and it kind of matches a little bit with what we have going on up here. Alright, next, let's finish up the lower lash line. So, similar how we did before, I'm going to start off with Ms. Brightside. Then, we're going to go in with Pass It On. I just want to do a little bit more blending of the two. Just use a clean brush real quick to blend that out. Then I'm going to take Tardy. I really feel like this is a super shot cutout though. Put that on the inner corner. That is what I want to go for. Alright, then mascara. I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Next, we're gonna put a lash on. You two have a lash glue. I already have half a lash out for some reason. Oh, I was doing a look the other day. It was Jason Voorhees. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I did that over on my Instagram doing the um, classic movie horror characters. The next one I need to do 
I got challenged to do gross face, which I'm not even sure how I'm going to do gross face. Because ghost face's face like comes down here. So I don't know. But this is a uh, basically alright. Uh my usual ones I use. Uh this is the irresistible ones, but I cut them in half and then stacked them. So that they're kind of shorter. Kind of more just an accent for my lashes versus a full set of lashes. I really don't need the full hour. I still have 46 minutes. We're not gonna need it. I don't even know what I do the rest of the time. Actually, I probably would use the rest of the time to add to the other side. But that's not part of this challenge, so we can't really do that. There we go. So there is basically half a lash on. <laughs> oh, brows. I still need to do brows. Uh, let's do lips just to make them look the same because that's kind of bothering me. So, same, same thing still. Uh, sleepy Eyes, Ultraviolet Lip from Club Pop. There you go. Now they match. I gotta rely on this side for some reason. That you gotta do on the other side. Okay. Now that looks more even. Okay. Rose. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to start off with ColourPop Brow Color in Cool Cola, which I use quite a lot. And then um, their angle brush. general shape going. This is the time, so I'm going to go in with their tinted brow gel, or their brow boss gel in light brown. Kind of find the brow hairs here. Depending on what else to do since we still have time. We still have 42 minutes. <laughs> kind of, I think we're just done. Because I can't think of anything else I actually want to do with my face. So I'm going to set it. So basically, I'm going to stop the, the clock because I don't need the rest of the time. And here is what basically my short version of makeup routine is. Versus if I gave myself all the time that I honestly need, which is not an hour. Which I know Kelsey her didn't take the full hour either on hers. Nikki Tutorials, when she tried doing this challenge, had to take the full hour and wasn't. And was done, but she also did, I don't know. But she couldn't even finish like a, a, as much, but honestly she did more on that side too. But yeah. So this is all the time versus not really all the time in the world I have, but enough to get a similar effect on both sides. So basically what I do for work versus what I meant to do for the day. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a big old pause up. Subscribe to the Hell Pack and I'm gonna try posting more videos more often, but it's kind of just more whenever I'm in the mood. But we might start doing some different type of things on the channel versus just makeup. I am debating on adding a little bit of gaming because I miss filming gaming videos since I don't have a gaming channel anymore. So we might do some gaming because I love gaming. So I want my channel to be kind of more interesting to into. So if gaming is one of those things, 
I'm gonna put gaming on the channel. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe, join. I already said all that stuff. Anyways, bye.